New Empire Development Skill available. Don't really need that right now. Something happened there. Okay. Uh, let's... Hmm. Hmm. Making sure to stay within my area so I get the advanced healing and stuff for one more turn. Uh, this is going to get raised to the ground in a minute, and then I am going to bring that guy down to that underground outpost that's getting attacked. Burden of Guilt cast on you, muck you. Um, yep, 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 yep. And let's see, Astral Shattering. Which city is it that I keep finding that I'm able to shatter? It's probably Delville? One of them doesn't have... No, wait, Farm Ruins. Is it Crosswall? Is that the one? It's Crosswall. Crosswall doesn't have a spell jammer. Oh, whoop, I was about to uh, nuke someone that was a friend. Probably should not do that. All right. All right, that city should be gone on the next turn. And that will be two enemy major cities downed in this session. And then I have to send that troop down back to the underground outpost to uh, reinforce it. Ideally, I would like to, any of these places like here, the, the haste berries, I'd like to make an outpost here with a teleporter just to expand how the area that I can quickly get around. But it wouldn't let me make an outpost here because it said the city was too close. And that's when I came over here all angry, like, ah! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, if we're going to attack this... Okay, this spell jammer has to go. Do they have more than one spell jammer or just one? What's the Doom Depth Trench? It's a conduit. Okay, that's not a spell jammer. Sanctuary is a spell jammer, but it's occupied. <gasps> oh, I think purple is harassing the uh, the white player right now. And I, blue, could maybe hit the opposite spell jammer at the same time. Oh, oh, that's such perfect timing. I was going to need to somehow get around his land and hit the sanctuary from the other side, but purple just hit it. Oh, 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 oh. the enemy of my enemy is my future enemy. Save first. It saves automatically every turn. We're fine. All right, that is gone. All right, that's done. Can't build an outpost because there's an existing outpost or so. Ugh, groan. Oh, I'd never clear that. I need to send my ruler's army over there to clear that out at some point. Um, okay. So let's look at the underground. And... You head over here. Barkshire has built a thing. A ruined province can be rebuilt. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you go head toward that. Alright, let's quick save and see... Actually, hold on. 
Can I just do... We're shattering. Can I just shatter this? Yep. And then I could even immediately attack the army I spawned and try to get some XP. I'd feel real stupid if I lose. <laughs> real stupid. Okay, we won. Hey, nice. Our main dragon is leveled up. Draconic health. More hit points. Tanky dragon. Alright, so... The fact that that spell worked meant that that was the last jammer. So that not only got rid of that province, but it also told me that there that was the only one. Uh... Cast heart to be rude. Alignment changed to pure evil. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't bother nobody. Now there is a world where all these shatters in enemy territory could be bad, like if they're just able to farm the armies also. Um... But the fact that they're not rebuilding their stuff very fast tells me that this is okay. Three more turns until breach. Alright, hopefully that one army I sent here will get here in time. I usually have- each outpost can take one province next to it. And I usually have them take a, a province and build a teleporter there. But this, but I had to take this golden layer because the golden layer gives a ton of income. And I was like, oh man, I want that. Uh, unfortunately, it means that anytime that something like this happens, I have to walk back there. <sighs> oh, hello. Sansavar, I see you're looking radiant today. He, uh, he says I, uh, trespassed on his property. <laughs> Wow, no deaths on auto. That's a pleasant surprise. Alright, he's got four more smaller armies here. Or, now, they're granted that he just used his best ones. Is he going to hit me with those? This game is PvP. Yes! Uh, I'm sorry if I, if I wasn't clear with my earlier answer. Yeah, the game does have PvP. I'm currently playing the single player uh, experience. I'm currently playing versus uh, a bunch of AIs. Yep, there's purple hitting the opposite side. Zaha Tur is the is this lady? I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, that's a free city. Never mind. Uh, that's that's not any of these up here. So there's actually more AIs than the ones up here. There's also the free cities. And that one that one is a uh, a vassal of one of the other cities. So it it hates me. New day. I think I might have a spell that heals an army. Or do I? Hold on. Blessing of Paradise, Chant of Bloom, Guys Chosen, no. All friendly units in the target province gain plus 15 max hit points and regenerate 15 hit points in neutral and friendly domain in the next two world map turns. They're in enemy domain, so that's not going to work. Okay. Supreme Magic. Let's start that. Alright, so first... Uh, Seventeen turn siege. Let's change that. Wizard's bombardment. 
makes it an eight turn siege. Um, Volt Repeaters makes it a seven turn siege. And we'll steal their population. It's still going to take a bit. All right, these are their troops that were not in the, the main army. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost some units here because some of them are really low life, but we'll see in a minute what happens. Okay, he couldn't get through my passive healing. <laughs> and then this poor guy. <laughs> One more army that didn't uh, fit with the others. Okie dokie. Supreme magic is done. Uh, Temple of the Exalted, a new city structure. Alright. You can annex another province down here. Um, can we get the Golden Gate? No, not yet. Get a mine there. A hero leveled up. Another hero leveled up. Ruler Sansevar was banished to the void. Zaphoth has been captured. Thank you. Uh, the remains of Orvis have been collected in the crypt. Okay. Astral Shattering is ready again. Uh, should I do it? Let's destroy his teleporter. Because he could have backup come through there. Okay, got that gold. I don't know that there's anything else down here for this army to do at the moment. Um, let's see, what else can I have this one do? Have it head up here. Once that is destroyed, we'll want to build an outpost here. Um, wait, was this the one? Oh man, I'm so disoriented right now. Hold on a sec, hold on. Hero list, Quite in the Ox. Okay, Drago the Librarian is the one that was on their way to help with this. So, is he out of movement points? No, he's not out of movement points. There, okay. And there's two turns on the siege, so that can wait. Alright. And where's the other one? Hero list, Serp the Starcaster. Uh, let's see, where was I taking Serp to? Over here. Okay. Spells ready to launch. We're still casting Supreme Magic. Your domain's been invaded. We're working on that. Okay, cool. All done. Shrouded Slayer! Thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. Welcome. Uh yeah, it's it's Saturday. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a bit later, y'all. Usually I wrap it up at midnight, but uh, I don't have anywhere to be early in the morning tomorrow. Nicely wrapped up. No. Marching winter on the underground city. I actually did that. Uh, I do. So this is Barkshire. I actually have. If you look, where is it? Marching winter on Barkshire. I'm I'm paying mana for that. I think it just doesn't work. Maybe maybe you just can't do it underground. Let me see. Uh, Age of Wonders for Marching Winter Underground. Uh, not really seeing any talk on this. I did find a bug from the base game of Age of Wonders 4. Apparently Marching Winter was deleting mountains. 
So like as it spread from your base, it was just flattening mountains, which it's not supposed to do. Try to find out. I, I literally have. I, I've already done it. Uh, it's... Wait, what? Uh, where? Right there. Yeah, it's done. Temple of the Exalted is done. Shrine of Smiting. Barkshire's made an academy. Barkshire produced a Bannerman. Set production in High Ridge. Make Temple of the Exalted. Set production in Wayne. Temple of the Exalted. Hold on, let me check each of our cities here. Bullerton. Temple of the Exalted. Uh, okay, so let's check this out. Denvolson, Temple of the Exalted. Sumiskira has withdrawn to the... Whoa, Sumiskira got beat up? That's the other nature dragon, right? Yeah, so she just got beat up by somebody else. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Six more turns on that. I guess we can just pillage that while we wait. Orders required. Let's go here and chill for a turn. That's almost done. Orders acquired. Yeah, this guy. Look at him run. Look at him run. Okay. Uh, city. Ru Why can't I dismantle this? There. Okay. I think I had to have a hero on it. Hmm. Uh, is there anything here that you could dig out while you're here? Okay. Spell ready. Supreme magic. Grants zeal to enchanted units, making base attacks do extra spirit damage. If they kill a unit, it will explode, doing damage to other units. Okay. Astral Shattering is ready again. Uh, let's see. Ruler Statue. Put that. Alright, enter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did my, I hear, my ears hear correctly? Muck is going to do a 24-hour stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, on that note, I mean, the closest... What, what's the longest stream I've ever done? I know I've gone over 12 hours. I've done, I've done multiple 12-hour streams. Um, there, there will be a long stream sometime uh, in early next month where we... Because I was recently, for those who don't know, I was mailed 16 legendaries. One of every single Generation 3 Guild Wars 2 Legendary item. I was mailed 16 of them. And told to use them for a giveaway. And I talked with the guy and we planned it all out. Uh, so it's like between 30 and 40,000 gold in Guild Wars 2 worth of Legendary items in 16 different items total. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you know, play it up. You know, make a video with a bunch of fanfare, stuff like that. And we are going to do a day, like a Saturday or Sunday, where it's okay with my family, where I just stream like the whole day. And every hour we give away a legendary. So there'll be just like one really big quick giveaway every hour. And it, it'll, you know, it would drive a lot of channel for the, uh, a lot of channel for the traffic, a lot of traffic for the channel and stuff like that. So, going to do it in, uh, in July, so it'll be after the first of the month. But I'll let you guys know once we've decided. Um... He wants to learn about magic, and I can personally tutor him with 100% success rate because my astral affinity is so high. Okay. Shrine of Smiting completes. Um... Ascended Warriors. Non-hero units in the army gain a rank. Oh, this is the thing you guys told me about. I finally found it. I don't know which book that's from. But I finally got it. So you could just like, I could just like level up my troops instantly. 
Like, even... Let's see, these guys... Yeah, they're legend. I have a couple of legend rank. This guy's not. Ooh, that would be crazy. Everyone is a legend in this army. This one's not. There is so many of these Cthulhu armies running around now because of me. Uh, five more turns. Finally, I can build on that. All right. Have I never been to that watchtower? Oh my god, I've never visited that watchtower. Feels dumb. Okay. Where... what else can I have you do that would be helpful? Okay, I, I do have that. Oh, this one can expand again. Alright, take that. Mm. Is that an enemy army? Yeah, it is. Okay, you need to force March back home. You are over... Uh, I don't even know if that's enough, but you are very overextended. Alright, dig that out. Um, I could make this into a full-fledged city. However, if I do that, we're going to have issues with... Um, Income. When you go over this cap right here, your your income gets like drained really, really hard. I'm not sure if I can sustain that. Uh, not gold. Not because of gold or mana. Imperium would be the problem. Imperium would be the issue. You know what I will do though. I'm gonna make an outpost here just to make a teleporter here. Twenty-four hour if it was a twenty-four hour Dragon Age stream, I'd be more excited. I'm excited as it is. Twenty-four hour Dragon Age stream, pray, pray, praise Joko. <laughs> uh I remember uh some of it came to light after the Charles as the Discord links guys here. Uh, the YouTube channel featured in the Reddit thread it is a treasure when it comes to CCBV drama. If you watch some of its older videos, you'll see how bad things were a very short time on it. Uh, long while now it's in CCBV. Yeah, there... I, I remember the first time I saw Teapot talk about people win trading to get, um... What was it called? Like, gizmos or something like that? I didn't even know what a gizmo was before that. <laughs> and now I'm just like, oh, wow. Okay, who freaking cares? It, it's like... There's a whole community of people that care so much about getting these things that they're willing to like lie and cheat and steal. And I'm just like, wow, 99% of the player base doesn't even know these things exist. That doesn't even win trading mods. Actually, where my trading wall just ain't if people are not apparently. Uh, okay. PvP is where toxicity goes to thrive. It's where I go to get uh, <laughs> clips of people getting spike trapped for music videos. <laughs> Alright, purple is surrounding me. There's four purple there and five here. Which is kind of concerning. Because I... Purple is purple's the enemy of this guy, but it's also my enemy too. Gold vein. Okay. All right. Um, what are we gonna have this fella do? Pretty sure that's already captured by someone else. We still good everywhere else? I think so. I think we are. Do you have a teleporter? Does my vassal have a teleporter? Yeah, they do. 
Can I use my allies' teleporters? No, it doesn't look like I can. Huh. Alright, let's park you down here by this teleporter. Uh, let's see. You sit tight. You sit tight. Let's see. Astral shattering. What else can be shattered? So I'm trying. Bye. Mm, wildlife sanctuary. Not me doing a beta impression, nuking a wildlife sanctuary off the map. Uh, time to absorb the city then? Well, when you absorb, if I absorb the city, I'll go over the city cap and we have that previous problem we talked about. Uh, there is a thing here to increase your city cap. It's currently 800 Imperium, but then absorbing the city is another like two or 300. So, and then, yeah. The, the main thing is uh, I can't let my Imperium income ever go negative or so these troops, my strongest troops, which cost Imperium each turn for upkeep, they will just leave. Not instantly, but over like the next few turns, they will leave. It would just be like really bad. I'm very curious to find out when I beat this city because it, it has the the little trophy thing. That means in a normal game, if you defeat a city, the guy can just respawn at a different city. But this was his starting city, and apparently that is what's associated with the quest objective up here for Sons of Ar the Radiant. So when I beat that, it might say he's lost the game and kicked this guy out. Or it might just check off the quest objective, but then he just respawns over there and it's just kind of weird. I don't know. Or maybe I beat it and then the, the, the mark quest marker moves to that one. But this is the, just because of the sheer health and upgrades of this city, this is absolutely his starter, his starting one. You know, just like how when I, after I played D4, I wanted to go play Last Epoch. In some ways, not all. I'm not saying it, it, it's an upgrade. I'm just saying in some ways, this playing this game makes me want to reinstall the old Heroes of Might Magic games and go a few rounds. Because, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff this game does better. But there was some stuff that game did better. And I, I miss it. Uh, Ascended Warriors is done. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 or 5. Which ones did I hit? Uh, hold on. Let me look up the box art. Heroes of Might and Magic... Uh, I had four. I had five. I think I had four, five, and some expansions for them. I recognize those box arts. Uh, Golden Run. Dude, we're literally gonna have, like, every Tome of Magic by the end of this game. Gold. The king and queen of mineral. Uh, let's see... Okay, so which army has troops that are not maxed? This one is... what is she? Champion? So she needs one more level. These two... actually wait, what is he? Elite? He needs two more levels. Okay, so the main dragon. Um, Ascended Warriors. Dude, that's so busted. That That's honestly kind of busted. It takes forever to rank up units. That's why I save scum so hard when I lose a really big... Well, it's not even save scumming. I just... I, I auto, and if I see one of the uh, units with a bunch of XP die, I just redo it. This spell is busted. Wait, where did I get this from? I think this was from an order book. Uh, Alright, this outpost is done. Make a work camp. Uh, make this outpost, make a work camp. You can annex another province. Which one is this one? Actually, I think it actually cannot reach a province that it can annex, because you can only go so far from the main city. So there is uh, open stuff there, but it can't get it. And then over here, this enemy's in the way. So when this enemy's defeated, then it can expand again. Tithe Collector. <laughs> Nuke. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna chill right there. 
This one, not 